Hey guys, welcome back to Frenemies, I'm Ian, and we're back with more Cloak and Dagger. So last episode we had uh, Tandy and, and Tyrone, they discussed what was going on in their lives, like what what was going on with like Roxanne and, and what happened to them in the past that's kind of taken them down this path in a way. Um, and they had a falling out later on. I was going to say it could have been prevented, I, I don't, I'm not really sure. Uh, Tyrone could have handled things better. <laughs> Not overreacting, because I mean, she was talking about having to previously wanted to commit suicide, so I wouldn't necessarily say no. I wouldn't necessarily say what he did was an overreaction, but it was just again he could have just handled it better. Greg was killed, so that kind of sucks. Go bad for him. He was just trying to do right by uh, Tanny's mom and the t um, her father. Trying to expose, you know, a corrupt uh, corporation and all that. Tyrone found his brother's cloak at the. I don't remember. The, I don't know if they said exactly where it was, but where they were training his brother Billy to be uh, the next spy boy for them. And I really liked the way the cloak looked. It looked very like I know it's not. It's a cloak, so it's not like a whole lot to be done with a cloak. But I liked what they did with it. Like it made it look a lot like again. Like I I do remember. Vaguely, what his cloak looked like is not necessarily just a straight up just black cloak. At least not in some iterations. The one I've said it did have the, the pattern that they kind of had on um, in the in the episode. And also, Tyrone's gonna be talking to O'Reilly, so we're probably gonna get into that this episode, as well as as well as a uh, Tandy um, using the the files that she got from the safe and digging into that. I don't know. Again, I don't know if she, how she's gonna do that on her own. Uh, who she's gonna go to? I mean, if she goes to anybody in the beginning, I mean, she probably won't at first. Um, especially not Tyrone. Well, I don't know. It depends on who gives in and kind of extends an olive branch first. Like, I feel like uh, I mean, Tyrone should, seeing as you know what he said. But uh, I'm not sure. She might. She might do it out of necessity, you know, for the to help with with what she's found because again, it's a lot of information to go through on her own. But I mean, in a in an empty church with you don't really have much of a schedule, she probably has enough time to get through enough on her own. Yeah, we just left off with Tyrone at the at the precinct. Um. So, and Candy's getting a little more, more control on her abilities. We haven't really seen Tyrone do that much, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, like she's she was able to conjure the dagger when she when she needed it, when she when, when she wanted it, not just needed it. Um, and that's how she got the files. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into the next episode. I joined the Navy to help people. When I lost my arm building a hospital in Mosul, I thought that was it. Then Roxanne Gulf approached me about applying my skills to the city I called home. Who says nation building should only be about other nations? I never mentioned this before. I've been meaning to, but I keep forgetting. I really enjoy their soundtrack. Hey, O'Reilly? No? Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> what if you could get him on some else? Like dealing drugs. What are you talking about? I saw him meet up with this guy over on the monster with those big bricks of cocaine. You didn't have to do all this. Can't take the credit. Hi. What the hell are you doing here? I come bearing good news. What's that? I did it. I controlled it. I made it happen. Check it. Not in here. Public child. Okay, put it away. Can you not? Not here. You kill it in practice, man. That jump shot. Epic. Well, maybe that extra time in the equipment room helped. You've been first rate ever since, so it sure didn't hurt. It hurt a little bit. One more game. Yeah, one more game, man. The locker was was pretty great, so. Thank you. What are friends for? Friends? Oh my god. Uh oh. Seems like about eight years ago, vice busts around the 12th became fewer and further between. Turf wars, shootings. Then slowly but surely, the dealer dominoes started to fall. 
with a lot of help from Connors. My best guess, he's the intel source in a ton of these arrests. I think he moved the vice about then. Probably made some good inroads. Well, that's one way to look at it. What's your way is? He cleared the field for a mystery dealer to Take play it Monopoly. easy. You There's wanna... still plenty of product on the street, but it's flowing from one source. O'Reilly. My boy's in basketball. Yeah, not nearly as good as he was. That's not true. Billy was more tenacious on D, but you've got stronger legs, and that jump shot of yours is money in the bank. You know, my whole life was begging him and his friends to let me hoop with them. Whoa! I'm bragging to my guys about how I know you. The whole neighborhood is more Hancock High territory. Me and my boys are rooting for you, you know that. I need your signature, sir. Go, I ain't no nut. Hmm. How many followers? 17,000, but coming up on 18. And you post every day? Oh, at least twice. I use one of those timer things to maximize post exposure and report traffic, do like my owns, all the tricks they say to do. No drug problems? Does ice cream count? <laughs> Have you ever worked atmosphere? Listen, I, just, I don't want you to do something for me because you think you have to. All right, that's not who I want us to be. I mean, if you don't want it, that's cool too. I, I mean, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> See, I totally knew you wanted it. <laughs> I'm just taking pity on you. That's all. Mm -hmm. Okay, I thought something happened. <laughs> okay. Foul. The one. Who said I didn't touch him? You made my call, son. Take a step back if I were you. Eleven, you're on the line. Saint Sebastian ball. Come on, man. You want to borrow coach's glasses? You want to add a technical? Man, this is an all-out war. Both teams. Going after the errant ball. Hello, what are you doing? <laughs> well, it looks like the referee finally has control over this game again. What the hell is this? There seems to be a little confusion on oh, the court here. Where are the interns? Bow tie. Uh oh. What are you doing here? Oh, tie. What the? You've been experimenting, right? With your, your hopey touchy thing. Why? Why does that matter? It matters because you check too many books out of the library, and I'm paying the fine. You and I are connected, and because you're using your shit, mine has been going haywire all night, and it's your fault. I didn't do anything to you. Have you tried that dying thing yet? What? You know, putting yourself at risk. No, you, you know I'm not doing State that. State finals. I know. It's all on the line, Tyro. You gotta let go! Well, that didn't work! So my clothes are soaked, by the way. <laughs> You have some water and an aspirin and sit still, it should pass. Oh, I'm not drunk. Hey! No one's judging. Stage fright. Looks a lot like too much vodka. And maybe vodka would help. <laughs> no! Mom, please! I'm sorry! Talk back to me, boy! Oh, no. <laughs> This is the guy you want with a ball in his hands. He missed the purpose. And that's the buzzer! Hey, 
You're a good man, Tyrone. It's just a game. Put it away. It's not gonna help your dad. You need, you need him to, to clear his name. Is that a body? Jesus. Who's there? Hey. Okay, I was wondering if it was her or the boys. Oh yeah, you should uh, probably lock that. Wait, <coughs> for safety, I mean. Come on, who wants to wear a loser's jacket? <sighs> you are so dense. <laughs> what are you talking about? I know. She knows you did you know on purpose. What? She did. I told you. Pay attention. Dang, yeah. Let me guess. I know who you are. Parents are home, by the way. She tell me what the hell you think you're doing? And do you have enough to share? She did on purpose? Club dealer. Easiest way to score without it coming back on you. Used to do it all the time in Harlem. Hmm. I wasn't sure about you, New York, but maybe I was wrong. Crooked. Collar's not out. Ah! It's gonna bug me. Well, at least she's going, because I don't have to see it. I'm sorry. The my girl picked up and left town ASAP like. Because she let a cop take her off and didn't want to face you. No. Just rein it in. And give me what you owe me. I got men all the corners looking for products since your last delivery was light. Because this is not how this works. Not after the night you shot my boy. Whatever you are, partner is not the word you're looking for. He knows. You got a cold, cold heart. And help me continue Dad's work of finding energy from How'd under you get the in earth. there. <laughs> it was actually good for what was on top of it. My name is Mina Hess, and I'm working with Roxanne Gulf to save the world. Well. That's why. Okay. Sorry. I just the the Detective O'Reilly they get just it's been bugging me. <laughs> Excuse me. It's been bugging me. Like she's I recognize her for some reason. Something about her face. It just it stood out and uh, but she was in Power Rangers: Dino Thunder. <laughs> it's the only thing I've seen her in. Um, I don't know if anybody anybody saw that uh, up to that point. Um, I think that's probably like the last one I saw. I don't remember. Anyway. But that's interesting. She's that's cool. I mean, it's cool thing she's doing more, and she's in a I guess a, a better acting show. I mean, Power Rangers isn't always just the best, except for Time Force. Time Force was they had probably that's probably the best acting I've seen in the Power Rangers. Anyway, heavy news. Ty's old friend he knew about or he knows about uh, about you know the cop. First he knows the cop that killed Billy's uh that killed Ty's brother. And he also knew that he killed him. How did that come into? <clears throat> He's a drug dealer, so that's unfortunate. That means they're gonna—they're probably gonna end up taking him in. So, how does he, how is he working with the cop? Like, what at what point did that happen? Because they were, excuse me, they were still just teenagers. Excuse me. And now it's, it almost seems like he kind of almost owns him. I mean, they're, they're kind of partners, but he's uh, he seems to have – the uh, Billy's old friend seems to have more control over the partnership, it seems. Huh. And O'Reilly, 
Um, she's making. I I, didn't, I don't think she actually did it because it's just her. What she's gonna be using as a cover. Yeah, I can't. I mean, it seemed like she was, but that might have been just been her trying to get look like she was being caught midst um sniff or whatever. I don't know. So I don't know if she's actually doing it or not to, for the cover, but I mean. It's working at least, um, because they kept showing behind. They didn't actually show her, like they were they're showing her getting going in there. But when she went close, it was like covering the view. So I don't know that might have been the point. Uh, I don't, I don't know. So I don't, I don't think she's actually doing it because I mean she's trying to. I don't think she wants to get addicted to it, and she's trying. She's she's doing this to get closer to uh, this guy. What's his name? Connors. Okay, but yeah, she's trying to. She's trying to get uh, closer to Connor so she can catch him more. Um, so she can get more info on him probably. He says she's he's gonna see her as in the same uh, area, doing the same things, you know, in the same circle. That's what I think that's what I was trying to say. He's gonna be more open with her, I guess. Um, it's probably not gonna be right away because I mean, someone like him is gonna be a little more careful probably in in letting people. In right away but we're making headway but now now Ty maybe can tell O'Reilly what happened like or who he's a, he's connected with and, and so I don't know if she'll I mean at least I don't know what exactly uh, she's trying to she, I think she's trying to get the dealer now she at least has that I think he's the dealer I don't know if he's like the dealer it seemed like that's what he was I'm not 100% sure okay, so yeah, he said his dealer so I guess he's the the top I think um so that's or how long he's been in this cuz I don't think it's it, it was when they were you know when when Billy was still alive because they were talking about selling the radio back so I guess like that means they needed like then like that much that money being taken from them I don't, it could have just been they didn't like the fact that they were ripped off even though they didn't need the money but I don't think they were in the in the in that life yet but yeah, Tandy is gonna be is well right now she's working on investigating on her own. Um, she seems to be doing a pretty good job though, so she didn't really she she doesn't really it doesn't seem like she needs any help thus far. I mean she's probably gonna I mean it would be best to have backup at least in case something happens. I mean she can defend herself with those daggers, but I mean it would be somewhere to catch her off guard or I don't know, I if someone has a gun. Mm worrisome troublesome I don't know could she create like I don't again I don't know the full extent of, of uh, her powers could she maybe create like a shield that'd be helpful that'd be pretty cool she create like a, a hard light shield oh you know it'd be really cool there's this person in a book who basically has hard light abilities they can do that but that when they create uh, blades like they can actually float them around they can control them with their minds and they can also create basically hard light armor that'd be really cool she could, I mean I don't think that's that's the extent of the abilities, um, but that'd be really cool if it was. Um, not to say her powers aren't cool too, I'm just saying. They'd be really overpowered in a way. <laughs> but yeah, Ty's not, I mean, he kind of, he's doing it more, but not necessarily of his own volition. And I didn't know their powers are connected in a way, like if she uses hers so much, they'll start like causing his to go haywire. I don't know if it's always going to be like that or if it's until he can get a better grasp on it. But at, unless that's just his assumption, but it, it seemed like they both, they probably felt it because he said that we're that they're connected. So I, I think that's I think they felt that, knew that she was using and he felt and knew that she was using her powers. Um. So yeah, they 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 did cause him to. I, I'm guessing that's what the, that's what caused him to to jump from the the court the courtroom, the uh, locker room to the Roxxon party. Um. But yeah, he's it, when he put the 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 blanket or over his face he, he ended up teleporting to his friends which I don't know why he teleported like what it seems to work like what whoever he's thinking about or I don't know if it, it works like on contact too but he was also looking at because I because he was holding the picture but he's also looking at the picture I thought for a second that he was use, he was uh, using his abilities to like look into people's fears by touching the object I thought maybe that's what, that's how that was worked how that worked too, um, but it was just he teleported to where his friend was. So I'm guessing it works on on the person. So he doesn't have to know where they are. He can just appear to them, which is 
really, really helpful. Really, a really good power. Um, that's it's kind of overpowered in terms of teleportation. Uh, you don't have to. It's kind of like a location ability, except it takes you to the person. You don't necessarily know where they are. If they're like in a bunker, you can't say, "Well, they're in the bunker in this place," because you have no idea where you are. I'm sure you can also teleport to a place, because I mean, he did teleport on top of rocks, the rocks on building. But I think that's also be because that's where the the vice guy was staying, or Connor. Um, Connor or Connors. Um, so I don't know if it was because if it's. I don't think it's just people. I'm thinking he can teleport wherever he wants, but it's also whenever like it's also tied to a person if you think if he's thinking about them he can teleport to them doesn't seem like it's directly to them unless I mean he could probably do that I mean I don't know if he can he doesn't have a grasp on it yet so he's lucky he didn't teleport right in front of him that would have one been awkward two bad because Connors was there so that he would see the kid that tried to kill him and also that um, he chased down before that and you know that's kind of a uh, looking, you know, they kind of sort of uh, reveals his power to them, and his old friend or his brother's old friend. Well, they're probably friends in tangent. You know, they they he he teleports in on the them talking about the whole drug deal, so that's yeah, gonna put him in danger for that. A lot of bad stuff if that were to happen. Um, <clears throat> that was weird. It's gonna cut my throat. Um, but yeah, uh, the basketball game. I kind of. I figured it would go. It could go either or, either way, because they could. It could be the kind of story like it. It wouldn't really be bad either way if you made it or not. Like you could be, because it could be like, oh yeah, the team, the, the big day, they they made it, you know, big victory there. But it could also that could might come off as cliche, or it really wouldn't matter. But there's also the the stories like, oh, they they lost. It's one of those stories. But it's more so Tyrone noticed what was going on with the ref. I guess that was I, I think that dad was trying to he's either racist or he was trying to can't be racist because Ty is black too I don't I don't know what the point of it I think he was trying to uh, he was trying to get them to loot to win like he was trying to help the team I don't know what his um, I didn't quite get what the vision was I couldn't really see all that well with the, the people that they were doing to him I think they were cutting his fingers off I don't know I don't know if it was his dad either. It could have been somebody else entirely. It could have been like a mob dude or something. I don't know. But um, I don't know if he it would if it would be to that extent. Like they would actually cut off his fingers or something. But um, or whatever it is they were doing to him. But it, he would be getting reprimanded for not getting the other team to win. So he's doing whatever he can to. But see, there's there's very obvious things. Like the kid didn't do anything. Like uh, that was stupid. But yeah, tied. Um, he whipped it on purpose. He didn't make it too obvious. Like it was, it, he was definitely trying. That that can definitely happen. Like you go for it and it doesn't. It just bar well, not just barely, but it it gets on the side. Um, so he didn't make it obvious. So Ty's got a good shot. He's he's dang good if he can aim for like to miss just where it needs to like to just be enough to not make it into the basket. Um, I mean I'm sure a lot of people can do that, but I'm just saying. It's it's still impressive. I could not do that at all. Like if I try to if I try to miss, I would just I would overdo it on accident probably. Those guys are the what is it, his his dad's beating on him. Like I don't know if, I don't know for sure. I don't know how because Billy or not Billy sorry Ty when he was with his mom he saw that they both got killed. So it's not exactly the same. Like it's always the fears or the hopes for both Tandy and, and and Ty. Like it doesn't the way they look at it, it's always not literal. I'm not, I'm not I'm wondering to what extent like. The, the the visions what he saw what they meant like would he actually because maybe they're just not literally in a forest because it seemed almost every time they were in a forest but like I wonder if it's his dad's actually beating on him or if he's just not approving of him now and or, or belittling him maybe um, and I don't remember what the what was going on with the other guy with the other kid I'm sorry but basically the kid people he were touching they were all they had people that would actually I want to see now because I'm I'm curious as to what exactly happened. So is it maybe it's like a game shark. It looked like he had a book, so maybe it's maybe like a game shark. So maybe he was betting money on the team or some like on the on a high school on a high school team. I, I don't I don't know. It did it's it just seemed like he was he was writing something down. Again, I don't know if that maybe is real or not, but like literal. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if the other if one of the other kids is going off joining the military and he's worried. 
or if it's like that's like supposed to like represent his stress and 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 maybe what he feels he's gonna get like the the God, I can't think of words the um fallout from his team or something I'm not really sure what because again it's I keep saying this I'm sorry but it's just it's obviously not literal so I don't know and with the the other kid the you saying people were saying snitches get stitches and then they were beating on him I don't know if I got, I thought it was supposed to be like if if these people were losing then I guess that somebody would would have a would, would reprimand them for losing even though it wouldn't really be their fault but I guess something I, I don't know something else maybe it's something else to do uh, out of their lives I'm not really sure but yeah Ty Ty lost on purpose and such a good guy and even Evita noticed which I didn't I don't know I didn't I didn't really expect it but um she's definitely she's very observant and she knows he's a good guy so she she and she watched the, I mean anybody could have seen what the rep was doing but what is going on with this thing sticking up? Jesus. Man, oh man. Um, good thing that's been in the whole video. I appreciate that. Not really sure if that was the safest, cause, or not safest, but like the best time because, um, I mean, the parents were home. So they, unless they were just really quiet. I mean, it's possible. I'm just saying, like, that's kind of risky. But whatever. Um,. Yeah, I thought um, whenever she was saying that's what friends are for, I thought something happened. Maybe she saw something. Like, she saw him with Dandy and was thinking, like jumping to conclusion or something, or, or, or was worried or something. I don't know. But it was just she was she was worried that there wasn't that he wasn't maybe not interested in more than what they were doing. Just like, kind of like fooling around. He was, you know, she, she thought maybe he wasn't gonna be serious, which he kind of wasn't. He wasn't. He said he said himself he wasn't ready at the time, but he is now. It was probably a mixture of seeing the guy basically announcing sort of that the girl was now his girlfriend, they're official and whatnot. It's about a mixture of that, feeling bad for treating Vita the way he was, and, you know, he did want to, he, he, he did want her to be his girlfriend. So, there's that. I thought that was, I thought, again, I thought that was just, that was, that's sweet, though. I'm, but that just makes me more worried for what's going to happen with them. Like, Vita is such a sweet, nice, caring person, and it's just, I don't want her to be hurt <laughs> um but maybe maybe something will happen where she become a, a bad person and then i won't feel bad for her i don't want that to happen either but i don't know I, I just, i'm worried for her <laughs> i haven't seen i just realized i didn't i didn't mention it last time but we didn't see liam at all last episode and i was wondering was going, if we were going to see him again or if he was going to be released or what was going to happen or maybe they just didn't mention it that he was released um but he was still locked up and he was not happy with tanny he said, um, I made a, uh, what's it, what exactly did he say? Uh, did I put it on this page? Oh, donate money to an unworthy cause. So, yeah, he's not, he's not happy with that. I mean, it's understandable, because she kind of just left him after he gave all his money to help her out. And then just left him before that. Like, before just leaving him for the cops, she just left him after that and kind of broke things out with him. So I don't think I think that's I don't know if he's gonna come back after this. That might have just been that ending, like tying that off, which is a shame because he seemed like a nice guy too. Um, and I know uh, Tanny and Tyrone are probably gonna end up together, but I would have seen I would have liked to have seen their things tied off a little better than better um, for his sake at least. Um, and Tandy's because she she liked him a lot, and she just she was just afraid and didn't want to. Didn't want to hurt him and didn't want to be hurt uh, on the off chance by him. Um, so she just and she's just also scared of you know being snagged by the cops because of what she did. Um, but you know I, I just I just hope things they can get some kind of closure between them. Get close to oh yeah, Tandy used his, used her abilities to my throat's been dry to uh, investigate rocks somewhere. She was going into people's heads. Excuse me, extracting their hopes and whatnot, seeing the same guy in most of the. I mean, I don't know how many she actually saw. It might have just they might have showed I, I, they might have actually showed who she touched to get their hopes, um, or they could have like not showed everybody that she was touching. But um, everybody we saw, you know, they have the same guy and Peter. What's it? Peter or something rather? I have his name somewhere in this mess. Peter Scarborough. Scarborough. Scar I think we're here, Scarborough. Um, not a nice guy. I mean, outwardly, he seems nice. What he, what she saw was he's basically taking money from 
um, well, dead people for one. Probably something that they showed he that they were kind of showing that he caused, um, and just kind of taking the benefits from that. And he even said he said himself he said I like to get my hands dirty, so I'm seeing I'm assuming that was supposed to be obviously a nod or a inclination or foreshadowing or whatever to what he had done in the past and probably still does. Um, we just showed him murder or like, drowning some some guy named Nathan. No, 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 sorry, Ivan Hess. Um, can, somehow connected to Nathan Ballard. I wonder if he was a coworker or a friend or something. And then there's Mina Hess. So I'm wondering if she knows. I wonder. If, I don't know if everybody working. With, I don't think everybody working with them knows about Roxon, like how bad they are. I don't think that they go in there and go in, into an interview ready and just being like, I can't wait to be part of this uh, corrupt corporation, become evil like the rest of my peoples. So I don't think that's what that. I don't think they know. Um, only like the inner people know about like the corruption going on and the the dirty deals so I, I don't know if she's one of them but I recognize her she's um uh, I can't remember her name I feel bad but she's Chloe Bennett's uh, friend um, if you don't know her she's in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. you should watch that show if you don't it's a great show um, just gotta get past the first season for most people that's a bad season just gotta get past the first six, 15 16 episodes um, for, it's pretty shaky for most people, but anyway, um, she's also gonna be in an upcoming movie, which is cool. Um, a bomb and a bomb. Just look up Chloe Bennett. You'll see probably in, the, in her thing. She's in, she's in a movie coming up. I thought she's, I thought Tanny stole the uniform to, for some reason, be a cheerleader. Like I thought she was gonna maybe try to get some information from. I, I don't. I I could not think of why she was doing that. And then I was also I was wondering if maybe she wanted to see Ty play the play play in the game and maybe cheer him on and give him some kind of support. I don't know. But she needed the uniform for the interview, so it made more, much more sense. She was trying to get, she always was trying to, um, what, I don't know what exactly they're doing, what, what they were for. I guess just to be eye candy or something for them. I'm not really sure. Um, I thought it was insinuating that they were Selling themselves, as, like I mean, they kind of, they kind of were selling the services uh, if they're just like eye candy to pose their dates or whatever. But as more, I don't, I'm not prostitution, but I, I thought they're doing something similar. But but um, yeah, I don't think that was the case. But anyway, I wonder how she had like fake the, the followers. She, I don't, did she create like a, is she not a hack, <laughs> or she just like create a bunch of a bunch of fake accounts just to add to it? Because I mean. She did just, the lady asked and she just told her. She, I don't think she actually checked, so maybe she didn't do anything. But that's kind of stupid on the lady's part. And kind of interview is that, I mean, I don't think it was Instagram. It was their version of Instagram, maybe. I don't know if they would use that. And when they, don't they use Instagram? No, yeah. Um, Tandy mentioned Instagram. What did the lady say? I don't think it was Instagram. It didn't look like it. It had like a weird symbol. I can't. I, I don't know. She just asked how many followers. But anyway, it doesn't really show what the app is, but it's not Instagram. But yeah, the lady did not didn't do. She's not very good job at um looking at the lady, looking at people's profile and stuff for stuff like this. She literally just asked and didn't even check herself. Well, okay. It's, <clears throat> so I know they obviously patched things up in this episode after right after last episode. I was thinking I was thinking they were gonna work on it this episode, but they just straight up kind of just walked over it. It did like nothing. Like well, they mentioned it, but I feel like Ty, like Ty, Tandy apologized. But I feel like Tyrone should have apologized. I mean, maybe he did off screen, but he should have because like she's she's like sorry for getting my harsh on or whatever she said, and he, he just like and he he followed with what are you doing here? But I mean, maybe, I don't I don't know. I feel like he should have said something considering what he said to her. But whatever. Um. But that, they fixed things, so that's that's good. I'm glad that they they're not going to be on that for too long. I mean, there's there's probably there's still some I think some slight animosity maybe. I don't know. She freaking pushed him off the ledge, man. What if that didn't work? I mean, she I I, I don't know. Maybe she did that for some kind of maybe pay, payback. I don't think it would have killed him. He would just been severely injured. Luckily, he fell in the in the pool or the the thing, the fountain. But still. That that could have ended much worse if it didn't activate. But apparently, luckily it did. Um, he just wound up sitting on the bench again. It doesn't seem to carry momentum. 
with him at least because with bullets it did but he's starting to get they're starting to show that he can do not just teleport himself because he just he didn't teleport himself at all the first time he teleported the basketball which is crazy um but hopefully they're gonna go there that's i'm glad they're going into that now they're slowly bringing in that he can do other do a little more like you know bringing in people I'm gonna. I'm wondering if he has any kind of offensive abilities with that, because in the again, it was just the voodoo walk thing that they were doing. But in there, he like kind of sent it out to to grab Tandy. I don't know if he can actually do that. If it was just because of they're in that dream world, that kid, that punk, that like that basically led the group to beat him in the into the locker room, um, just acted like it was well, not not like it didn't happen because they Snyron brought it up and he just like well it didn't hurt, which it it did. Um, but I know what he meant. But still. Like, dude, for real? You're just gonna and Ty, it, it seemed like it was that was it. Like, did Tyrone just kind of accept that? Were they just friends now? That's kind of bullcrap. I would not be friends with this kind of his person after that. I mean, that's that's tra that's trash. All right. Well, um, that's all I have for this week's episode, guys. This is a this is a cool episode. Um, I like seeing Tandy using her abilities more and using them to basically investigate more into Roxxon. That really helped her make some progress she's getting more she's get she got further pretty quickly um all things considered i mean not most people have that ability to look into hope so that helps her a lot she's she's got I, i'm also wondering how the heck she got into that building in the first place she did they're filming some the commercial for rocks on there's no way they, they let her let her in but i don't know maybe it's something else and tyrone's tyrone's uh teleported to his old to billy's old friend's place or not place but wherever he's working at um i don't know if he, he can teleport back or not because he still doesn't really have much control over it or we just have to wait till I leave and then walk home with nothing on except for the blanket. Again, well, the last time we at least had boxers on or under or whatever. But yeah, we're moving things along. We're, we're investigating. We're investigating more on both sides, you know. Um, O'Reilly dealing with the Connors um, and Tandy, Tandy getting further and further in her uh, Roxxon investigation. Hopefully, they'll be able to help each other, Tandy and, and uh, Tyrone. I don't know exactly what Tyrone. Maybe can Tyrone can like teleport into places. Teleport her into places that she needs to get to but that she wouldn't be able to otherwise um and their powers would work well together like with him looking into their fears and her into their hopes i think that would help their investigation a lot like one could they can go different routes and work their way they can they can spread out more and get more intel that's it for this week's episode uh for cloaking diary guys hope you enjoyed it if you want to check out the rest of our stuff go and click the button right next to me and if you want to stick around for next episode make sure you hit subscribe and if you want to be notified when our videos come out go and click the bell icon down below Again, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next week.